welcome back sorry about that it's melinda and thank you for watching my channel don't forget to subscribe all right now what i'm going to talk to you today and i'll get all of that out of the way all right it's family contributions or chores however you want to call it we call it family contributions instead of chores we just chose that wording due to everybody has to contribute as a part of the family everybody does we all do things in order to keep the family functioning and working and moving smoothly everyone all the adults all the way down to my three-year-old does family contributions now of course what does that mean well as an parent right we have so much on our plate we pick the kids up and drop them off off of school. We pick them up at school. We make all the meals. We're doing laundry. We're making sure the house is clean. All right, most of us are making sure the house is clean. Obviously, I need to work on that. But anyways, <laughs> toilets are clean. Um, <laughs> and just the everyday stuff that we do as adults and as parents and just if you're not a parent just as an adult we do it right we're contributing to the family to make sure it runs smoothly and I expect everybody in the family to contribute to make sure it runs smoothly and what that means is that the kids also have to do family contributions and it is not tied to their allowance their allowance is completely separate because you are expected to contribute to the family and I'm going to show you the chart that I made up to make sure that everybody is contributing and um, I'll go over how that works. But that's pretty much how we set up, if you want to call it chores, you can call it chores, but there's no allowance tied to it. They are expected to do duties every single day and to, in order to get them done, um, if they are complaining that day, we do a when then. So when your family contributions are done, then you can go out and play. Then you can watch some TV, whatever you know they want to do. Or if they're asking, hey, can I go out and play with Billy? When your family contributions are done, then you can go out and play with Billy. So that's how we have set it up. And like I said before, it is not tied to money it is something that's just expected because as an adult we have just the expectations of we have to cook we have to clean we have to do our laundry and so on and so on it's just a part of daily living whether we take out the trash you just have to do it to keep the household running we don't get paid for it it's just an expectation so that's what we've set up with our kids as well so let me show you the board that I put together that is um, downstairs that um, they can reach. It's at their height level. It's magnetic. And so far it's worked perfectly. All right. Thanks. I'll show you the board now. Okay. So this is our family contribution board. And this is um, what I was talking about earlier on how we do our things that have to get done throughout the household. Uh, as you can see on this side, we have a magnet for every person in the family. So even the kids understand that mom and dad also have family contributions. We all work together to make the household function. So with that, as you can see mine cleared out, but some of it I have to put back every night. Because I carpool the kids around and I pick them up and that's done every night so I'll go back at the end of the night I do the dishes I cook I ran our Roomba vacuum who actually vacuums for me I did that and then I did some laundry so this I will have to go back to because um, I do that on the weekends so um, at the end of the night after all our contributions are done at the end of the night I place them back under our picture 
for the ones that have to get done every night. So my kids are little. So the five-year-old right now has to pick up his toys every night, put his books away, and then he sets the table. And then the little, little one who hasn't done it yet for tonight, he has to pick up his toys and put his books away. And then each night I come down here and I put it back under their um, magnet. So one where our picture is, it says to do, things we have to do. And when we're done, then they can put them in this row, which the little one needs to do his, obviously, still stay. And then if they want to earn extra money, I have for hire over here with some extra magnets. So down here in this row right here, we have extra magnets. I still need to make more for, like, take out the trash, stuff like that. And um, what I do is I just take a magnet, so say... I want them to dust something they can do. I will put it over here. Sorry, can you see that? Sorry. There we go. We'll put it over here under the for hire. Here, I'll put it up here so you can see it. For hire with a little plastic bag with money in it. And I'll put it right here under this magnet. Boy, that was horrible. Sorry about that. Under this magnet so they know, okay, if I dust, then I get the 50 cents or the dollar whatever I choose to pay for that job but if there's nothing over here for hire then there's nothing for hire and this is so they can earn extra money along with their allowance like if they're saving up for a toy or something they want to do but anything that is over here is an expectation that you do it the money is not connected to the expectations these are family contributions that we all have to do to keep the household running. Alright, so this is our board. And like I said, there are some more magnets I have to make. Um, as they get older, they can help take out the trash, stuff like that. Alrighty, that's our board. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about our family contributions, just let me know.